Hello, Scorpio. What's up? This is your weekly reading. This is October 17th through October 23rd. What's up, Scorpio? Scorpio season is coming. I'm excited because, well, I'm a Scorpio. All right, let's see what's going on for your week, the 17th through the 23rd. If your sun, moon, rising, Venus, it's for you. Or maybe you're just spying on a Scorpio. That's okay, too. Like, share, subscribe if this one hits home. If you need something more personalized, as this is general, all my info is below. You can go to my website and book your reading. Sometimes I say bad words. I like to just get that disclaimer out there. If it's offensive, hard left. All right, but I hope you stay. Let's have some fun and get you some messages. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Venus. What's up for Scorpio? Typically, my readings are love, L-O-V-E, but it's just whomever you have on your mind. All right, let's see what went on with you and your person in the recent past. Hello, lover. Maybe it was a Gemini, major arcana for Gemini. What's going on now? What's the current mutual energy? We have the six of coin. All right, little Taurus action there. All right, what's on this person's mind? What's going through their thoughts? It's the Page of Wands. Hi, little fella. This guy likes to go out and have a good time. Sometimes he's a traveler, he's a communicator, and he's passionate. Takes action. All right, what do they think of you, Scorpio, the magician? More Gemini energy. Virgo, Gemini. What's going on in this person's feelings deep down? The Knight of Cups in reverse. Maybe you're dealing with another water sign, Pisces energy for me typically. All right. How do they see you guys moving forward? The five of swords in reverse. What's going on behind the scenes? The hidden factors, the queen of wands, my favorite bad bitch of a queen. Look at her. How could you not love the queen of wands? All right. Leo Sag Aries energy. What's your advice from the tarot? It is the four of cups in reverse. Hmm, interesting. What's the outcome for you guys over the next week or so? It's the Emperor, Son of Aries. More Aries energy. Aries, Aries, a possible Aries. Some of you have Aries in your chart. Some of you are dealing with somebody with Aries in their big fat birth chart. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Ten of Wands. A long cycle, burdens, worry, and guilt, possibly. We'll see what that's about. All right, let's move you down, Scorpio, so you can see your big fat reading for the week. So this is the overall energy between you and somebody. The Ten of Wands, look at him. He looks a little bit, I don't know, guilty, worried. His back's breaking. All right, that's the overall energy. We're dealing with a burdensome situation. Why, Scorpio, why? All right, let's get to it. Let's start clarifying this reading and see what the hell is going on. Past situation, possible soulmate energy, contracts within unions with the lovers, Gemini energy. It is a strong ass relationship or feeling of a strong ass partnership. The eight of wands just flow out. I'm taking it because I was talking about the lovers and I'm putting it right on there. So the eight of wands is manifestation. It can be online communications, back and forth messages can also be the card of release. All right. So I think there was some communication in the recent past. Maybe it had something to do with the connection, the lover's feeling. You're my soulmate, says Scorpio, or the other person. Also, of course, that lover's card is all about making a head over heart decision. It's a choice. All right. Somebody decided they couldn't fight the feeling anymore. I just can't fight the feeling is what I'm hearing and feeling. So something was communicated. And now we have the six of coins action going. So somebody wants to do a little giving and receiving. There's some sort of balance um, playing out here. You know, the coins are all about stability value, right? So I give to you, you give to me, right? What is the six of coins? What is this about? Six of coins. Why is this the present energy between Scorpio and this person? What is it? Well, it's the six of wands in reverse, Leo energy. Somebody right now, the current energy is somebody feels if they try to give more to the situation, it's going to end up a failure, right? There's not going to be success here. It's And again, remember I said with the pentacles, it's not overly passionate. 
or emotional. It's kind of like, here, let me give to this. Let's bring balance to a situation that has failed as well in the past. And I think there was communication about this. Give me another card. Why is the six of wands in reverse presently between Scorpio and this person? Yeah, the devil, sign of Capricorn. There's a strong pull here. It's like, I love you, I don't love you. I love you, I don't love you. Oh, hi, Maya, my Leo dog. She is a hot ass mess, you guys. She's probably gonna start chewing on cords. Uh, but with the devil energy, this is that strong pull, right? This is like, look, I want to try to bring some sort of balance to the situation. We've had failure. Can it succeed? I'm afraid it won't succeed. But at the same time, I can't leave you. I love you too hard, right? On this person's mind is the page of wands. Why is this page of wands on this person's mind? Leo, Sag, Aries. Well, it's because of the big fat queen of pentacles. Who's she? Who is the queen of pentacles? She's a Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus, typically Capricorn for me, but she also just embodies commitment, stability, somebody that's very sensible and practical, not overly emotional. This person may be coming to terms with the fact that, you know, they want some sort of stability and commitment with you, but let's see why. Why the queen of pentacles? The 10 of cups in reverse, all right? This person's walking around like they're happy, but they're not. Also, too, they could have some shit going on with their family, right? There could be some family drama going on. Ten of Cups in reverse is like, yeah, things are great. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles, stable, concentrating on my money and that kind of thing. But really, what they want to do is reach out to you. I think this person can't break away. They can't break away. There's a pa there's passion and there's action. And it has to do with commitment. And they're trying to act like everything's fine, but it's really not. Yeah, the Nine of Cups, because you're a big fat wish. All right. Now, how do they view you? They view you as the magician. Gemini, Virgo, energy. What's this about? So they know when somebody views you as the magician, you got a lot of power, right? Very charismatic, the gift of the gab. You probably look like a shiny new penny. All right, it's very charming, very attractive. The magician, there are a couple cards in the tarot that talk about physical beauty and charm. The empress is one of them. The magician is another. It's like they can't, almost like shiny, like they can't look away. There's like this obsession. I, I can't be with you, but I can't be without you. I don't know. I know I'm repeating myself, but it's what I'm feeling and hearing. Why is the magician here? It's just what I feel. Yeah, see the seven of cups. You're like a, an illusion, almost, like a fantasy probably having dreams about you, right? They also know, I think, Scorpio, that you have a lot of options. The Magician and the Seven of Cups, mm-hmm. That's also somebody that can create a lot of uh, illusions or fantasies, right? But I, this is more so how they're viewing you. What do they think of you? They think of you as the Magician and the Seven of Cups. Lots of options. People are attracted to you. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Yeah, the Five of Cups. Also that, remember, we talked about past history. They know that you're kind of, you you know, you're missing them. There's been some shit in the past with that five of cups, that is scorpionic energy. They also may view you as keeping your options open because just too much shit's gone on in the past. You're not, you know, you're ready to like look behind you at those two cups. Uh, Maya, no, she, now she's eating rocks, you guys. She's eating my crystals. So how does this person feel in their emotions? The Knight of Cups in reverse. I want you, I don't want you. I want you, I don't want you. I want you, I don't want you. Knight of Cups in reverse. A little bit of jealousy could be playing out too, but the Knight of Cups in reverse is just fickle. They're in, they're out. They're not offering their emotion, but at the same time, they can't break away. What's up with that? The Ace of Swords, Aquarian energy, all right? They want victory, but they don't know how to get it. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Yeah, stability, order, control brought back to the situation. This person's very stubborn. It's like they, again, I keep going back to I can't fight the feeling. They're trying. They're trying real hard. How do they see you guys moving forward? The Five of Swords in reverse. No more conflict. Yeah, the Two of Cups. See there? There you go. Soulmate connection, a very strong partnership. I want to drop the drama. I don't want to fight. I don't want to sling shitty words at you anymore. No more manipulation, no more hurt, and no more cutting. Let's do it. Two of cups. Now they just got to get on it, right? Get off the, the lawn chair and make a move. 
Why is the two of cups here? They're fighting it. The world. Two soulmate cards. You guys might be at a distance as well. All right. You are their world. You are their soulmate. What's stopping them? The ten of swords. They're afraid of betrayal and hurt. I think there's been a lot of betrayal and hurt as well in the past. I'm clarifying. So this is like, we're asking why. Why do they want to move away from conflict and strife and pain, right? It's because you guys had some, some shitty ending in the past or some betrayal. Some daggers were thrown. Yeah, a lot of distance here with the chariot. They just want to move on. They want success, but they're having a hard time figuring out how to get it. What's going on behind the scenes is the Queen of Wands. Who's this bad bitch? Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Seven of Wands in reverse. Somebody in the situation feels like, you know, they, they're going to take action. Somebody's confident. I think it's more you, Scorpio, right? And with the Seven of Wands in reverse, it's like, look, I know what I want. I'm moving forward. Sorry, y'all. I'm moving forward. You know, if I can't fight for something here, if something's too difficult to fight for, I'm just going to lay it down. Because the Queen of Wands is kind of like that magician energy, charismatic. People are drawn to the Queen of Wands. Somebody's going to just move forward and not fight for it anymore if somebody doesn't get off the lawn chair. The Ace of Cups and go towards new love. Loving yourself as well is what's going on here in the Hidden Factors. All right. Healing, loving, knowing your worth, feeling confident and getting that mojo back. And I think, I get the sense that this person kind of knows that. This reminds me of a couple of the other readings that you guys have had recently. Your advice, your advice, Scorpio, is this uh, Four of Cups in reverse. Maybe just to let this opportunity pass you by, right? Because the Four of Cups is a, is a missed opportunity. It's like the one that got away. Let's see why, though. Why is this Four of Cups in reverse for Scorpio's advice? The Six of Cups. See, soulmate. You guys are, it's some, you're dealing with some soulmate shit is what's going on here. Obviously, somebody from the past, lessons learned, right? Maybe it's time to let the soulmate go. What's the six of cups? Yeah, the lovers in reverse. Another soulmate card, but it's in reverse. So it's like the end of a contract. It's a broken contract. The contract's up. The jig is up, right? More Gemini energy. So it's telling you, you got to let go of this partnership, most likely. Everybody has free will, but I'm just saying. The outcome is the emperor, sign of Aries. Who's this emperor energy? What's the emperor doing here? What is the emperor doing in Scorpio's reading? It's the page of cups. But see, it doesn't go anywhere, right? The emperor, for some of you guys, this is new love. This is a, a possible an Aries or somebody that has a lot of authority. Is the emperor strong father figure, a little bit older, their way or the highway, but very nurturing, right? This person's all about order and stability. They usually get a lot of respect. And with the Page of Cups, it's new love. It's a new offer for some of you guys. For others of you, this is an apology from this person. See, it's like, I love you, Scorpio. I don't love you. I love you. I don't love you. Yeah, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. So for the majority of you, good luck with this because it's just a soulmate contract that needs to end. That's what the tarot is telling you, but it's not. So I don't know what the hell to tell you. I can just read the energy. You know, again, for the next week or so, this is what's happening. It's like they come in with communication, right? Returning, eight of cups in reverse, an apology, bringing back stability and control. But I also feel like you're dealing with somebody that's very stubborn. It's like it's going to be difficult to get them to budge in their ways here. But it's because of this devil energy. And it's causing a lot of effing burdens for everybody. What do you do? I don't know. I'm not a therapist and I'm not a doctor. I just read the energy. So if you're waiting on somebody, you know you have the soulmate connection and it's this very push-pull energy, then, you know, it still comes back around. You guys are feeling pretty confident. This person knows that. You got your mojo back. You have options and you're tired of living in the past. You're tired of looking back at this. They know that. Okay, but I feel like neither one of you can let each other go. All right, so good luck. Love you hard, Scorpio. Love me hard back, and we'll speak soon. Take care.